Welcome to Counted. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to calculate the present value of a lump sum. And we're going to do this using the financial calculator, specifically the Sharp EL738. Okay, so it should be very simple for you to do this. If you checked out any of, your, of our other lessons, we did the same examples using the formula. And we did many other examples using both the formula and the financial calculator EL738. So we did calculations like the present value of an ordinary annuity and solving for payment and total interest, as well as future value of an ordinary annuity, future value of a lump sum, and many other lessons. So if you've checked those ones out, uh, it should be easy for you to do this one. And if you haven't, we leave the links to all those lessons in the description below. But how do you do, do how do you do this? Well, first thing you learn, you'd want to do with your financial calculator is to clear the memory. Okay, so I press second function and I press here where it's written mode. On top it's written CA, which stands for clear all. So mode and then uh, clear all. Alternatively, if you want to clear your entire memory, like to reset, you press second function and then you press here where it's written alpha because on top of it is written memory clear. And then you press zero and then you press zero again to confirm. Okay. Otherwise, if you forget that or it's too long, at the back of your calculator, there is a reset button which you can use something to press and it will reset all your memory for the financial calculator. Okay, so let's get into it. The first example says John wants to have 120,000 Rand at the end of 10 years in order to buy a filming camera. He wants to invest it in an account that earns 8% interest compounded annually. So the question is, how much should he invest today in order to achieve this goal? Okay. So the first thing that I always say when we are doing these kind of calculations is to pay attention to the compounding because the compounding is very important. It affects your interest rates and it affects your number of compounding. And as a result, it will affect your results. Okay. Your answer, what you're trying to calculate. So here, what are we focusing on? Well, it says it's compounded annually. So if it's compounded annually, it's actually very easy for you because in your financial calculator, the default compounding is annually. So you don't have to do anything in your financial calculator. OK, so you just have to uh, put whatever you're given at face value over here. OK, so the first thing that you want to do is to put the number of compounding periods and the number of compounding periods is 10 years. OK, because it's only compounded once or so it's compounded annually. If it was compounded uh, at a different, if it had different compounding other than annually, then uh, your, your number of compounding periods would be different from the number of years. But in this case, it's compounded annually. So your number of years is the number of compounding periods. So we put the number first, 10, and then you press here, it's written N, which stands for the number of compounding periods. So you press N. So you press the number and then you press the elements here. So I like to start on the left and move to the right. And then here, the interest rate is 8%. So I'm just going to press 8. And then I press here, it's written I slash Y, which stands for the interest rate. Okay. And then here we are asked, we are told that John wants to have 20,000 rand, 120,000 rand at the end of 10 years. So that's the future value. Who wants to have this money in the future, in 10 years time? So I press 120,000 and then 120. And then I press here, it's written FV, which stands for future value. So that is the future value. So we asked how much should he invest today in order for him to achieve this goal. So I want the present value, which is today. Okay. So I'm going to press here where it's written comp, which stands for compute. And then I press here PV, which stands for present value. Okay. And the answer there is 55,583 rand 22 cents. If you invest that money today at the rate of 8% compounded annually, at the end of 10 years, it should have 120,000 rand. Okay, that was pretty simple for you to do. So whatever you want to compute, you obviously have to press compute first and then you press the element that you're trying to compute. Let's take a look at the last example over here. We're told that John wants to buy a car in two years time. He wants to know how much he should deposit into a fixed account offering 11% per annum compounded monthly in order for him to buy a car worth 200,000 rand. Okay, so here John wants to buy a car and it's in two years time that he wants to buy this car. He wants to know how much he should deposit into a fixed account today, offering 11% per annum. And it's compounded monthly. Remember, now that becomes very important. In order for him to buy the car worth 200,000 rand. So how much should he invest today if he wants to have 200,000 rand in two years time to buy the car? 
So the exact same principles we just applied. The only thing now we're going to pay attention to is the number of compounding. So here it's not compounded annually, it's compounded monthly, which is very important. Remember I mentioned that your calculator by default, it's compounded annually. So now there are two ways you can do this calculation, okay? The first way is to do it manually. And the second way is to first tell the calculator that the compounding is monthly and not annually as it is default. And then once you've done that, you can now input the figures and the calculator will calculate it for you. So I'll show you both ways. I'm quickly going to, I'm, we're quickly, we're quickly going to do that. The first uh, thing you wanna do, like I mentioned earlier, clear your memory. So I press second function uh, mode which is clear all, okay? So you always want to do that so that the figures you have done previously or the calculations you have done previously does not affect what you're about to do now, okay? So now let's tell the calculator how many compoundings it is. So we want to input that into the calculator and then the calculator will calculate uh, the rest for us. So I press second function and then I press here, it's written I slash Y because on top of it is written P slash Y, which is the payments per year, okay? So second function, I slash Y, and then the payments per year, well, it's compounded monthly. So how many months do we have in a year? It's 12 months. So I'm going to press 12, and then I press here, enter. Okay, I hope you can see that. So if I press the downward arrow, you can see compounding per year is 12, okay? Which is the 12, uh, which is the, uh, because it's compounded monthly, okay? And then I clear my screen, so I press on slash C. Now the calculator knows that it's compounded monthly. So now we can do the calculations. How many years is it for? It's for two years. So I press two, but I don't press N as yet. I need to press second function and then press N. Why? Because I want the calculator to take into account the number of compoundings that we just told it it is, okay? So now it's two times the 12 compoundings per year, okay? It gives us 24. And then you press N again to confirm that that is that is it okay so always make sure you do that if it's compounded more than once per year first tell the calculator how many compounds it is per year which we have we had which we, which we did and then you now press the number of years second function and and then you press n again to confirm so okay so that's 24 compounding periods okay and then the interest rate is 11 percent so you're just gonna put 11 percent as it is okay you just press 11 and then you press i slash y because the calculator already knows the number of compounding so it has taken that into account and the future value is 200,000 rand because he wants to have this in future at the end of two years so you press 200,000 and then you press FV and then we want how much we want to know how much you should invest today so you just press compute which is written comp and then PV and it will give you how much you should invest today so he should invest 160,664 and 70 cents now another thing that I needed to mention was that PV and FV you can see PV and FV will always have different signs okay if you put FV as, as, as a positive, your PV will come out as a negative, as you can see here. So always know that one will be a negative, one will be a positive. It does not affect your answer. You just need to know that, okay? And then, so now I've showed you the first way, okay? Let me show you the second way. First things first, let's clear our memory. So second function, mode, or clear all. Okay, now I've cleared my memory. Now the calculator is back to compounded annually, okay? Now let me show you how, to, how you do it manually. For the number of years, I know it's for two years, but I know that it's compounded monthly. I press times 12 because it's 12 months in a year. And then I press N. Okay, so you can see I'm doing it manually. The interest rate is 11%. But what I need to do is I need to take 11 divided by the number of compounding per year, which is 12 months. And then I press I slash Y. Okay, so for the number of years you multiply when it comes to interest you divide and if you checked out the lessons when we use the formulas you'll, you'll 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 see that we did that and we explained that thoroughly okay and then the future value remains at two hundred thousand. future value and then i just compute present value and you can see the answer is exactly the same hundred and sixty thousand six hundred and sixty four and seventy cents okay so i hope you can see how you do it both ways you can see for yourself which one you'd like to adopt, which method you'd like to adopt. And I can, I, I should always uh, mention that you need to make sure you clear your memory before you do any calculation, okay? Because by clearing the screen, by pressing on slash C, the calculator has not erased your previous uh, inputs, okay? So you need to make sure you do that. And I hope this lesson has made sense. If you have gained value from this lesson, if you have learned something, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.